way should we go? It sounds like it's coming from that way. Wait, I think it's coming from that direction. Right, it's definitely coming from that direction. I think. Catching isn't easy. I need a break. Even with my compy catchers, we haven't caught a single compy. But we've caught ourselves a few times. I kept trying to find a way to get rid of the compies, and none of my ideas worked. <laughs> but one of them will. We'll figure something out. It's what Dino Ranchers do. Okay, we'll keep trying until we make this work. We just need to think the problem through. Compies! Scat! Don't eat my weed samples! What? <gasps> you guys! I can't believe I missed this! Look! Hey! That looks like the weeds in our hay field! It is! It's a bungle weed! It says here, bungle weeds and their berries are a favorite food of the Compsognathus. Wild compies! They love bungle weeds! If they eat bungle weeds, I know where there's lots more. We can solve our compy problem and our bungle weed problem at the same time. This is your best idea yet, Miguel. Better than best. It's Triceratastic. Only my hat if those compies don't come running for their favorite food. Right. But instead of luring them to us with dino treats, we'll use lots of their favorite food, bungle weed. They took the bait! Dinner is served! Come and get it, you hungry compies! <laughs> 
kids. What's all this? We can get rid of the bungleweed with these. And because coffees don't like the taste of hay, they'll only eat the bungleweeds. Well, I'll be. Miguel, you figured it out. How on earth did you think of such a thing? That's easy, Ma. Miguel never quits. Even when an idea didn't work, Miguel kept on thinking and trying new things. Then we all found a way to solve both problems at the same time. Yeehaw! Pronto Bell is barring on my favorite storybook. Mine, too. She's the best. Min, can you sing the ballad of Bronto Bell one more time? <laughs> okay, but only if you'll act out the exciting parts. Already ready, Min. And Blitz and I are ready for our big heroic entrance. Thunder boots, smoke's mighty roar, send terror through the town. But when danger comes a calling, that's when Bronto Bell's around. Golden rode the fearsome beast and saved the town as well. The hero of the dinosaurs, the fearless Bronto Bell. She's the fearless Bronto Bell. All that practice is sure paying off, man. <laughs> Lots of places for Popper to hide. There he is. Get him this time. Huh? Where'd he go? Tango, I know you're having fun. But to catch Bopper, we need to be more quiet and sneaky. There goes Bopper. After him, Dino Ranchers! Wait, John, Clover found something. We heard a crash. Are y'all okay? We're okay. Tango had a little accident. But look what Clover found. Well, I'll be. Back when I was a youngin', I won this in a dino wrangling contest. That dusty old thing is a trophy? You're darn tootin'. Yeehaw! <laughs> it's seen better days, but nothing a little polish won't fix. John, man, Tangle found Bopper. We'll catch him this time. Yee! Huh? I think Bopper likes Pa's trophy. <laughs> All right, Bopper. Now, can we please have Pa's trophy hat back so we can give it back to Pa? Easy, Dino Ranchers. We don't want to startle Bopper like we did before. There goes Bopper. And there goes Pa's trophy. It's okay, girl. You were just trying to help. But if we're going to get close enough to catch Bopper, we have to be more sneaky. Dino Ranchers, ride! <laughs> Oh, there's something you don't see every day. A dinosaur wearing a highfalutin hat. It's so big and shiny. It'll look perfect on my pretty head. Come on, Tin Horns, after that hat. Yeah, Min, you sounded great. And John looked as heroic as Bronto Bell herself. <laughs> Aw, thanks. But that's just playing. A real hero does real amazing stuff. Like riding wild dinosaurs, or doing epic rescues, or... Whoa! Uh-oh! Look out, Pop! Whoa! Well, thank you very much, Big John. Big John! I like the sound of that. You see, John? You're always helping people. I bet you could do anything that Bronto Bell has done. You do? Really? You think I could be, like, a real hero? <laughs> yeah! Remember when Bronto Bell lassoed a thorn stuck in a stampeding Triceratops' backside? That would be easy for you. Well then, what do you say, Tango? Want to be my stampeding Triceratops? Minus the thorn in your backside. 
Instead of a thorn in her backside, John can lasso a turnip off Tangle's head. Hold steady now, girl. <laughs> Let's do this, Splits. It's hero time! Yeehaw! <laughs> Triceratops chase on our hands. John, Tango's going too fast. Then we've got to think faster. Think, John, think. That's it. Miguel, Min, throw Angus the turnips. Everyone we've got. You got it, John. Lo tenemos. John. <sighs> All these trees and bushes give Bopper lots of places to hide. Aww, we might never find him. <laughs> we got him this time. Again. Thanks, Tango. You're so loud that you and the ranchers will never be able to sneak up on Bopper. But we sure will. Ha <laughs> ha. And once we catch Bopper, that pretty big hat will be on my pretty little head. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to them, Tango. You don't mean to make noise. You're just excited to help us. It's not going to be easy to outsneak those sneaky tin horns. Or to catch Bopper. To do that, we need to move like lightning. And we need to be clever. And we need to be very quiet. Look at that. Tango's trying to move just like Blitz and Clover. Now that's being a clever girl. She sure is. No more noisy Tango. Vroom! <laughs> <laughs> All right, ranchers. Let's go get Pa's 10-gallon trophy back. Dino ranchers, ride! <laughs> I don't get it, Clara. Why aren't we off looking for Bopper? Look around, Augie. What do you see? Well, um, tree, bush, rock, bigger rock, and so forth. That's right. And Bopper could be hiding behind any of them. Yeah, so let's go get him. Hang on. We don't have to waste our time trying to find Bopper when Tango will do all the hard work for us. All we need to do is follow the ranchers and listen. Then, when we hear that noisy tango roar, <laughs> that means they found Bopper. And the next thing you know, we're riding like the wind and lassoing ourselves that big shiny hat. <laughs> 